Hi, I'm Dr. Daisy Batista. I'm a gastroenterologist and an inflammatory bowel disease fellow at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Thiopurine, such as 6MP and azathioprine, has been used for the treatment of Crohn's disease for several decades. In 1995, there was a meta-analysis that, that suggested that these medications were effective in the induction and maintenance of remission for Crohn's disease. However, the evidence has been somewhat controversial. A more recent meta-analysis in 2013 showed that these were not effective in induction of remission for Crohn's disease, but were somewhat effective in the maintenance of remission and steroid sparing. This past October in gastroenterology, there were two interesting articles published uh, looking at the effectiveness of azathioprine in Crohn's disease. One of the articles was by Dr. Cohns in the Jeted group in France that looked at 147 patients with a new diagnosis of Crohn's disease over the last six months that were at high risk for disabling disease. And this was defined as two or more of the following criteria, diagnosis at age less than 40, the presence of perianal Crohn's disease, as well as the need for steroid use over the first three months of diagnosis. They randomized these patients to um, one of two groups, early azathioprine or conventional therapy, and the authors concluded that there was no difference in the early azathioprine group compared to conventional therapy in the maintenance of remission over the three years that they followed the patients. The second study was by Dr. Panis as part of the Aztec group in Spain, and they looked at 131 patients over 31 Spanish centers. These patients had a new diagnosis of Crohn's disease in the previous eight weeks uh, before enrolling in the study. And they were randomized to either early azathioprine or placebo. Over the 76 weeks of treatment, they found no statistical significant difference in the early azathioprine group compared to placebo. However, on subgroup analysis, they did show that azathioprine was more effective than placebo in preventing um, moderate to severe relapses. In view of these new trials, many gastroenterologists as well as patients are wondering whether there is still a role for azathioprine use in the management of Crohn's disease, and we still think that there is. Uh, clearly, in the SONIC trial, patients who were on combination therapy with thiopurine and infliximab, they were shown to have uh, better response rates in induction and maintenance of remission. Um, we also think that in special patient populations, such as those with more severe disease, there's still a role for thiopurine use. More importantly, these studies raise the possibility that perhaps we need to be more aggressive moving forward to biologic therapy, especially in those patients that don't seem to be responding to thiopurine monotherapy and those that are at high risk for complicated disease and disease progression. Thank you.